It's your boy Mikey with We Talk Media in the flesh, having fun like I like to do it, just staying consistent, um, loving the life game, and trying to get you guys on point and understanding what's happening out there, okay? I'm going to get into a little bit of a different topic. It's going to hit two ends, all right? Um, competition is the first end. Nothing's easy, okay? Nothing's easy, and that kind of parlays into the same thing with the ladies, as everyone keeps asking about the lady, 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 all right? Nothing is easy. Hopefully no pawns up here. <laughs> so let's let's get started. Um, I want to, you know, there's a lot of guys out there. Um, let, let's just talk about the social media game. And I'm on Social Blade. I'm, I'm big on analytics, okay? I'm a big stat guy. I should be in the background. All right? And they're going to say, why don't you do it? Why don't you? The why don't you do it crowd and all that shit. I got to be honest with you. I get the same thing with sports and stuff like that. Maybe we parlay that into it. You are not the only one doing something. There's not one person that is super special, you know? All right? The 1% rule is totally effing true in in the in the output of life okay nobody's really that special and even the guys that are special through work ethic and luck plus timing they allow themselves to be some of the more recognized people around the world and that's rare let's let's use i always talk about him because he's known lebron james is one of those guys michael jordan Back in my day, there was a guy called Michael Jackson. Yes, I have to say that now, guys, because guess what? I keep telling people, and they don't get it. There's a, there's a time in your youth to be famous, to be great. And then after that, because that's when kids have time. After that, you're just sustaining. And you slowly go down, 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 right? That's for most people, right? A lot of people just think, out of the year, I'm just watching a channel. And it looks like a pretty good channel on YouTube. This guy was going in on a guy by the name of Donovan Sharp. Um, and he has good views on this video. The saddest couple on YouTube, Donovan Sharp Exposed. I'm not going to get into the specifics of this and all that. All right? And he has a good uh, uh, syllabus on his channel, as in he has marks and all that he does a lot of content looks like he just he goes in on a lot of the content creators all right and, and he focuses on red pill guys and gets pretty good hits okay pretty good hits uh for what he's trying to do video essays commentary and edutainment all right um it looks like he puts a lot of work into these videos. And again, he's really focused in on the red pill, uh, manosphere, all that space and all that shit. But the comments I start to see on a lot of these channels, and they don't understand the human dynamic. I'm going to help you understand it because I think you know it. Just like a relationship, just like a car. Let's use cars. Guys love cars, right? Most guys, I say 50, at least plus 50% of guys, maybe 60% of guys, have an interest or a like for a car. If a good car passes by, they kind of know it, right? All right. All right, let's, let's, let's just get into one that you guys all know. I mean, I, I like I like the, the Euro shit, but you guys, you guys, you know, <laughs> you guys love this one, right? Let's hit, let's hit this, okay? Stay with me. Stay with me. All right? What do, you, what do you want to do? You want to do that? You want to do the wide body? All right, let's do wide body. Since you know, I'm a car guy. I don't. I used to love these when they first came out like 30 years ago. <laughs> I'm making it up. All right, way way back. All right, and let's go red eye. All right. This car was attractive. Still looks good. Right. Right. You're like, wow, look at that thing. Still, look, you know, still looks good in certain lights if you grew up with it. OK. All right. Nice wide body, beautiful. Little. And you can drive this thing every day. Right. 
And it could be a classic car. You could probably hold on to it and it could be a classic car for you guys that like that. I'm a Euro. I'm from Northeast. We Euro. Okay, we like Euro shit. You know, if I'm going to look at anything, this is, this is where I would go. I'll go, okay, I'll do an e, E39 BMW M5. All right, that's, 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 that would be my thing. All right? And maybe the Touring Edition or some shit like that. I would start here. You know, I'm an East Coast guy. Okay, so this we do we do Beamers and all that and Benzes and Audis. That's our thing. That's how you, that used to be our thing. It's switching up now, but that's what we do out there. Okay. And I say, man, that car still has a look to it to me. All right. But what happens after you drive this car for X amount of time? All right. And then they got the new shit that come out. Let me shoot. Let me show you some other shit. Lucid Sapphire. This is my. This is shit I'm looking at right now. This is ridiculous. I right? get the right rims on it. This shit is stupid. All right. This is this is this is this is a stupid. It's electric. First of all, I never want to go that route. I don't want to go there with the cars and shit. But you know, I, I hate. I like noise. I do like noise, but this thing's stupid. All right. And I'm taking a peek at this. This is the future. Okay. When this new thing comes out, do you think I don't want to drive this other one and, and kind of that other car kind of sits to the wayside and falls off? That E39? I may bring it out every once in a while, but it falls off. It's not sustainable. This is this is very similar to YouTube, guys. All right? And how many of these cars come out per year? How many manufacturers are chasing a new car? Like BMW just came out with the um, the new M5 joint. Again, East Coast guys, we keep up with it. All right, it's heavy as hell. I'm a, I wouldn't get it because it's too goddamn heavy now. All right, it's too damn heavy. That's not it. Here you go. This one right here. It looked good, but it's heavy to me, right? I mean, it has it inside. Now, that totally differs from the old E39 M5 I just said. What are you trying to say here? Guys, social media, all these guys on these channels, it's very difficult to sustain somebody's attention with the same base, same voice for many and many years, for like 20, 30 years. This, I don't think it's feasible. Can they still stay there? Can they still have loyal fans? It's kind of like the rap game, all right? The rap game, you know? Listen, uh, LL Cool J, okay? I grew up with this guy. Do these kids know who he is in Rick Ross? This this song is fucking tremendous. We'll watch Saturday Night Special. Reminds me of the old days. I'm like, this is a classic. Got Fat Joe on there, LL, and Rick Ross. What a fucking song. What a song. Listen to it. Reminds me of the good old days, okay? But sustainability-wise... Let me find one of them, let me find one of them mumble rappers. Who's a I I'm not there, but what I'm trying to go is first off, you're not special. And then even when you are special, you have a time limit. There's a time limit to everything. Let me give you another person. Jerry Springer and Oprah were huge when I was young. Huge. Huge. Okay. Oprah. All right, they were huge. Oprah Winfrey, and you used to love these. these show. Just to show you the difference, look at uh, t uh, the two chains and Lil Wayne song has six point seven million. Uh, LL has one point five million. Even though it's short term, the, the, the time difference is a little bit different, right? Let me put. Let me let me show you the difference between LL Cool J. So LL Cool, let me let's let's stay here. LL Cool J, a superstar rapper in the early '90s, superstar. Okay. Has come back, reinvented himself. He's a style king. Listen, we style kings in our era. That's why you get, man, you guys are you need to grow up. You know, you don't dress. We got, we from the Dapper Don. It's a different era. 80s and 90s babies. Just different, guys. Okay? Just just heads up. Style is way up. We, we set, we set, we're the trendsetters, in my opinion. Okay? We set the trends. Okay? All right, that's my opinion. Okay? So, you, you know, um, if I go to Sexy Red, right? Let's see. I bet she has some songs that like 100 million views. Right? And why is it? Well, as mentioned, she has 2.6 million on this on this last one with Chief fucking Keith. <laughs> okay? I'm, I don't even want to listen to it. Okay? And I bet she has songs with like 40 million views, whatever, right? You know? 
6.7 million views on this one. 11 million. So in my mind, I'm like, how is Sexy Red bigger than LL Cool J? What a talent. I see this all the time in the comments. This guy has a tremendous channel. But if you think he's alone in this channel and he is he is an individual and that that no one else is doing what he's doing, you're sadly fucking mistaken. I find great channels at least six to seven times a day at a minimum, and I'm not even a big YouTuber or TikToker. This is me glancing. Channels will pop up. All right? That's why they say post, 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 because they're saying it's free to post because it's basically... Hopefully you hit a trend, somebody recognizes you, and you can make your run. Nothing is easy. Now, look at your competition here. Just saying, listen, we're going to get the girls. 95.4 million accounts, guys. Okay? 95.4 million accounts. 64.1 million creators. Twitch has 7.4, 11.3, 10.2, 2.1. I mean, I mean, TikTok, 1.3 million creators. Okay? And in your mind, you go, well, holy shit. Yeah, holy shit is right. Just imagine how many are in the manosphere. So when you got a channel and you guys are disrespecting these guys and go, man, they, they suck. Their view counts are down, blah, blah, blah. You guys don't understand that social media is one of the toughest gigs to get into. Easy to start, easy to post, but to make it big in social media, again, luck, being repeatable, being able to do it every day, work ethic, okay, right? Trending, right? Viral are the kind of words that are being used. That's why these guys have to look for great content every day, look at the top stories and see who's winning. But there, there's a lot of people doing it. And by the way, as ADD people that we are, ADD means attention deficit disorder. That's what happens when you look at the phone in the shorts. It's showing you that humans are even getting more. Ah, oh, fuck them. I'm, I'm going to the next channel. They're fleeting. They're like, how does this channel have 600,000 subscribers but getting in only 3,000 views? 5,000 views. Because only the best can sustain and keep a high view count after a while. Because you're just like the car. The Dodge Charger. The SRT. Yeah, I remember that dude. He had an aggression. I remember the old E39. I remember this old M5 competition. But this new joint cam came out. And this is the new talk about. Even though it's not as good, I still want to jump on this bandwagon. I still want to get there, right? And try something different. Let me show you. And, 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 and that's why, no offense, I tell a lot of content creators, you should go faceless. You should go faceless. Because it's tough to see the same face and we get older every day. It's tough. Here we go again. Same recognition. Even though the content's good. You get repetitive. You know what they're going to say. Right? There's only so much you can talk about. Right? While if it's faceless, I you can introduce somebody else to the channel, bring in a new voice, say, okay, you take over. You can do this with, with a face channel too, but it's much easier. Bring in this voice. Bring in this. Change it up here. You can do a lot of different things when it's faceless and still have your core. You see? All right. Now, you need to really look at your competition out there. And people and, and, and as watchers, you don't have to be this knowledgeable on the data. You don't have to be this knowledgeable on the data and say, well, what the fuck is he trying to say? What the fuck is he talking about? Man, he only has 10 views. This guy only has 20 views. He said, I got I got guys, developers that are 100 millionaires on YouTube. Getting three or four views on videos that they put an hour, an hour and a half work in talking. Okay? About real estate shit. Yes. They got, they've been on this shit 10 years. They got like 2,000, 3,000 subscribers at a maximum. Some of them haven't even broke a 1,000 subscribers. These are developers giving you their information on how they made it big. Hundreds, 100 millionaire on one of these channels. I'm not going to say his name. He's a white guy. Okay. 
worth a hundred some million dollars on YouTube, posting videos, try to help the com communities get better. And guess what? No views. All right. And great content, giving all the jewels. He's throwing all the jewels out there, the motherfuckers. Every jewel you want is being thrown out there. Right? By the way, I used to watch him every day. And even I, that's in that business, I moved off of him. Sometimes I forget his fucking name. Human dynamic, short-term memory, competition stick, new content creators every day. Guys, this is a fucking marathon. And if you don't like doing this, like me, if I don't like hearing myself, I'm a little bit, obviously I'm a little bit fucking narcissistic. If I don't like hearing myself, you can't, you can't do this kind of work. You can't do this kind of, you can't, you shouldn't even comment. 95 million accounts, folks. And you can see the 64 million content creators because a lot of them are like me. Some of us got like seven or ten channels. And you got other people doing the, you know, running a good channel in the background. You can hire some people to fucking run it for you. Okay? This is, it's not, you know, and then back to sports and back to cars. The Charger had his run. It had a long run. If you could be a Charger in YouTube, SRT, you've had a good fucking run. I mean, the car, that design is almost 10 plus years old. If not 12, 10, 12 years old. When did it come out? When did 300 c come and all that shit? Was that, was that 010 or some shit like that? It's a it's an old ass platform, man. But it's it still ran. I mean, it went a long effing time. Where am I trying to go here? Fresh and Fit, Donovan Sharp, all these other channels. Um stagnant you're saying hey the growth has stopped da, 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 da. did da, you know it's just like a car it, it you know the time comes i'm in their age group i watch them i got older i grown you may have kids you may have wife you may have you know start a business sometimes you don't have as much time as you used to that's why they say focus on the youth why is the youth you've got more time that's why the youth set the trends that's why sexy red is winning I'm I'm old. I know LL Cool J, but bro, I'm not gonna be like when I was twenty, you know, fourteen and fifteen, sixteen. Me and my guys rapping in a fucking uh, uh, room together, trying to be MCs, listening to all the rap songs, joking around, fucking around all day. Right? That that time is gone. That time is gone. You have a time period. The youth is where the money's at. Do you think the youth want to hear about? No offense, Donovan. Sh I mean, there's certain gems they can take, but usually the guys that watch the Manosphere type of thing at a young age are guys that have been surely shut out from a small town and all that shit. If I was, if I was 15, 14, I can't lie to you, I wouldn't be watching this shit. I was getting it. <laughs> I was getting it, man. <laughs> they had time to watch these guys. You know, I'd be like, man, that's a, that's a cornball, right? That's what I would say fuck is he talking about a lot of girls out there but that was my era things have changed the social media has changed the game it's definitely made it tougher for the young man because the fucking instagram and all that right 20 year olds driving you know having two lamborghinis a house and shit like that and nil deals for these athletes and all that but but guys at the end of the day there's a lot of those guys too the competition is thick nothing is fucking easy because you like a guy doesn't mean, okay, it's like, the, it goes the NBA parallel. I'm a tall guy. NBA, NBA you're, you, no offense, every other culture that, that doesn't know black people. If you say a tall black person because you kind of coincide that with the only only success model for black people, I'm just giving my experience. You'll go, he's black, he's tall, he must play sports. All right? That's what everyone says, right? So I was talking about, you know, my Latinos and white folks, right? White, white guys kind of get that play sports. But, you know, here it goes. Uh, number of professional number of NBA players percentage percentage chance of making the NBA NBA all right I'm not telling you this to discourage you I think there can be wins even with small channel I know a small channel is fucking winning right now all right so check this out this is just division one players. This that's a high level, by the way. To become a D1 athlete, you these guys will bust your ass. A D1 athlete will bust your ass in basketball. Same thing with football guy. On average, only 1.2 to 2 percent of NBA uh, Division One basketball players are driving to the NBA each year. Mind you, mind you, 
the draft is only 30 players. The second round is not guaranteed. The second round is not guaranteed. All right? And if you go in, what are the chances of a human making the NBA? All right? Becoming a professional player. Percentage of being a professional player. Because you guys just don't get it. It, it segues to the channels and shit like that. Okay, what, you know, they're making fun of this. They, they were talking about this guy's channel going, why doesn't he have a million subscribers already? He has six videos. You guys got to do more research. You can't be that fucking clueless. Right? It's like it's like me saying, you go to college. I love, I love my lady, so I got to be honest. Please, don't, you know, don't get mad at me, but I got to be honest with you, right? If you're from... Iowa or Michigan or the odds that you see in a, 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 a I'm gonna use a group that I know of okay I'm gonna be honest with you white guys can agree a white woman with a nice body or a white woman with blonde hair blue eyes if you had a college camp go to University of Michigan or any big university you go wow she's a she's a dime piece she's the only good looking girl on a college campus fuck it's even, I think that's, that's a thousand times harder than YouTube <laughs> or the NBA, you know, being, being the only attractive woman. There's so many pretty girls in the college campuses. It's the peak of women. So many, they're everywhere, everywhere. Okay. And that's like you going up to each one of the girls or why don't you a playboy model? What the fuck? Are you asking, dummy? Do you do any research? Okay. Now, are there people around it that will make it? Yeah, 1% is still a lot. There's a billion people, right? All right. 1% of, uh, you know, even though, actually, this is this is low. Think about it. 3 in 10,000. The odds of a high school basketball player making it to me are 3 in 10,000. Okay. Being 7 foot, six, 1 in 6. So 7 footers, hey, man, hey. Seven footers got the best chance, but it's still not 100%. Right? One in six. Three in 10,000. Okay? What about the odds of becoming a model? Uh, let, let's do the odds of becoming a big YouTuber. And kids don't focus in on us because it's so easy to create. And they go, why don't I get hits? Look at that. Do I need to say anything else? If you believe this stat. This is the 18 stat. By the way, revenue is going down. Why is revenue going down? Supply and demand. More people are able to put. Look at my dumb ass. <laughs> More people can post. And, and you're kind of taking away the opportunity for the, uh, for the bigger channel. If it, To be quiet is kept. You probably want to shut those those channels, but if you sh if you shut down the new channels, the problem is you don't get new content. Then the old content gets stale, and a new and a new uh, platform comes along, <coughs> TikTok, and just takes over all your legacy brands. Say, ah, oh, fuck that. Be why? Why does that happen? The youth only has a ten year span that you can grab their attention. And I mean, if you're great, twenty years, fifteen to what, thirty, maybe. 15 year olds to 30, you grab their attention. All right. Then, you know, for the guys that are doing Manosphere, let me tell you why the Manosphere works. They're capturing guys my age group between what, 20, 26 and I say 55. The guys that are marriage age, that have money, that have been divorced. Very smart model. Because a lot of divorces out there, a lot of people in bad relationships, it makes sense. Those guys are winning. That's why freshness and fit can be a little bit more sustainable. They may be able to go to 65, 70 years old. Coach Greg Adams on all these channels. Jason Black and all that. The race thing. If you go in a race, you go in a race, yeah, that's that's ever that's forever. That 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 group's in everybody. You see a thought process around this? I don't even know if they think think of like this. But just think about if you're talking about race. And it is a critical issue because you do deal with it. You just talk about stuff you deal with, guys. I mean, that's what all I do. I, I mean, if you deal, if you deal with it, talk about it, right? But race or something like that, or gender, woman, you know, woman with low self esteem, woman in makeup or some shit like that. That's a long lifespan. But do you stay up there with forever? No, you're gonna go down eventually. People will will jump off of you. They want something new, just like they do in a marriage. So for you to go, 
why doesn't this guy have X number of subscribers? Well, first of all, he's not a monolith. There's not one of him. There's at least 200, 300,000 of that guy. At least. At least. Okay? 96% of our spying YouTubers won't make enough money from advertising to surpass the U.S. poverty line, guys. The U.S. also found only 3.5% of YouTube's most viewed channels earn a modest living. There goes the one. Well, who do you think made it? 1%, guys. So when you see these guys, even guys with, you know, 100,000 subscribers, that's huge for them. It is big. Okay? Look at this. S-shaped S, S curve. Do you see that? They even they, Now they can model it. All right? However, other sources say that it's possible to become a full-time if you consistently create high high quality content, high value content for three to five years. Dick has this kid uploading one to three videos per week, which can result in over five hundred videos before reaching one hundred thousand subscribers or more. Most successful YouTube channels experience an S curve of growth with slow initial growth followed by rapid growth. For example, it may take twelve months to reach ten thousand subscribers, but only six months to grow from ten thousand to fifty thousand. All right, because people catch on. Okay. Okay, but that still only accounts for those one percenters. Okay, because ninety six point five percent really ain't gonna hit the money they need to make it. They're gonna have to quit. All right, life is not easy. This is the same thing that goes in the competition of life when we talk about races and they're all everything's a competition, guys. You hate on another group because guess what? Why would they hate a black guy? Your competition. And if you're the lowest form of competition, what's the easiest thing to do for a guy that's really not a competitor? Oh, let's stomp on the lowest race because it's easy. You see, they don't attack races that are of, of high quality because they know it's a tougher battle. It's kind of the reason why you don't see uh, Russia always challenge the U.S. up front, right? They go, oh, let's get Ukraine. Fuck it. U.S., let's go get Iraq, Iran. They small, right? Japan and, and China, let's get Taiwan. You don't never see them go, fuck you, U.S., let's go. They may be setting up to do it. They may be forced to do it, but you don't see that. All right, guys? I, I just want to show you, and sports is even more difficult, guys. It's actually, it's actually I think it's 0.0003% chance of making it. Yeah, everybody and their mother, because everyone thinks they're special. Right? They walk by, I'm giving a sports analogy because I know it, I'm tall. They, they, they see a tall black guy, they go, well, he's amongst me. They think they're special, so he must play pro. Sir, you're not that fucking special. <laughs> and there's no reason why they would live with you in this fucking area. <laughs> okay? They have no clue. Miami, yeah, you'll see more. In Orlando, you'll see some retirees. And you got to go to areas that is hot. Why the fuck would they live in rink dink nowhere? All right now, you're going to go. Kawhi Leonard does. Okay, one of them. Oh, fuck them. Usually the high-end athletes live in high-end areas. All right? Modest areas at a minimum. Okay? They're not no rinky dink fucking area living with you, bro. All right? <laughs> the YouTubers, there's a lot of them. Right? Because he does a good video doesn't mean he should be at a million subscribers. There's hundreds and thousands of YouTubers. The pretty girl. Yeah, let's keep going here. Yes, she's pretty in your town. But you bring her to Miami. You bring her to Central Florida. She can literally disappear if you just go out on a Saturday night. There's so many of them. Same thing with guys. Let's go back and forth, right? Yes, you have a beautiful child. Yes, he can be. Listen, the easiest path, the easiest route and most guaranteed route for, for, for people today, and I'll be straight up honest with you, is getting an education and going into a business field. You have a better chance. I just did a video on uh, Forbes Billionaire List. I'm going to jump off of this. I'm going to too long. 29 minutes. All right? Go to Forbes Billionaire List. And I just did a video on this, and I'm going to do it short. Just to tell you how easy, I, I got to do it short now because of so I think there's 2,786 fucking billionaires. Meaning you have an easier chance of being, just to put in perspective, you have an easier chance of billion, being a billionaire. Okay. Technically, I know you're going to argue with me because you're going to say, well, percentage-wise, that's not true. Easier chance of being a billionaire than being a fucking basketball player. Young black man, wake up. All right? Just adds up to you. 
Young black man, wake up for a second. I'm speaking to who I know, guys. I'm not being racist. I'm being what I know. I don't. I haven't grow. I don't. I, don't, I didn't grow up in a white family. I didn't grow up in a Hispanic family. I, I grew up around them, but I didn't grow up with them. Black males, sports, 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 sports. You have an easier time becoming a billionaire, meaning buying the team that those horses run for. Now I used to be a horse, versus actually trying to be the horse. Think about that. Education should be the baseline of every everybody's economy. Everybody. The YouTube, the sports, those are second day, third day fairy tales. Okay? It's your backup plan. That should be your backup plan. The education in something doesn't have to be college. I said education in something. Earning your wages a regular wager in a business or working for somebody should be your primary. And then you scale out to this other shit. All right? Yes, there's guys that have made it. There's guys that go, all I did was focus on YouTube. Fuck everything else and I made it. Do you know how many stories of guys that didn't make it? They don't put those out there. That's the problem. Life's a competition. Your boy Mikey signing off. Peace.